January 7, 12.52 p.m. Brighton Co. Law Offices. So how do you think the trial went this morning? Horrible. How do you think it went? It, it got a bit crazy in there. I just wonder if that killed our chances. Yeah, I guess it did get out of hand. Mr. Kudo's testimony did nothing to help Yeah, there's birdseed everywhere. Plus, now we don't even know the identity of the waitress who laced the coffee. Oh, yeah. All we know is what the old person with the kudo saw, the apron straps and the ribbon. And that the victim was wearing an earpiece when his eardrum was ruptured. Talk about a terrifying case of contradiction- Contradictionitis. That's a new word. Time to play doctor and find ourselves a cure then, huh? Yeah, we gotta find one for Maggie or she's going to have a terminal case of guilty. God, God damn it, Maya, you're very playful today, aren't you? Yeah, criminal affairs, screw it. Area 7, police station, criminal affairs department. Looks like Gumshoe's not here. Good. Never mind that. What's going on? It feels different in here somehow. You think? Yeah. Everyone seems to be on edge. What are you doing? Call in the officers for the briefing, quick! Can you shut down a station server? Chief, quit playing on the internet! Oh, oh my email pen pal! Uh, 1337 ACN Princess! Leaked? <laughs> What's the middle one? ACN, what's that supposed to stand for? I have no idea. Lead something princess. You lead ass? No, it's not ass. <laughs> no, no. Save for later. I'm turning it off now. Wait, did it get hacked? No! 1337 ACN princess! Everyone's keeping busy in here, huh? What the hell is happening? I think the servers are getting hacked. Keeping busy? More like panicking if you ask me. Something's going on. Something big. Yeah, I think the police server might have been hacked. Yeah, well, not my problem. To the detention center. Let's talk to the crazy person. January 7, detention center visitor's room. Uh, I guess Maggie's still in questioning. They really are questioning Aww. her a lot. Poor Maggie. But, but we've got questions to ask her too. Maggie, Maggie! Keep it down, Maya. This isn't a playground. Ugh. I guess we're going to Tabien? I don't want to. Wait, do we get to again. see Maya in a maid uniform again? I hope so, because I actually think she uh, ro rocked it quite well. Empty, as usual. Yeah, and it's lunchtime too. Hey, I need to borrow your computer for a short time. Totally not to put a new background image on it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, it'll be the sisters. And I'm sure I'll find one with Phoenix in the middle. Of course. Yeah, it's lunchtime too. What the hell? Not sure what this is, but that's it. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, that sounds like... Uh, oh, it is going to you. I'm just calling an eight, pal. Come on, I know you can. He's getting really worked up about something. I is he... No, that's the wrong number. He's doing the freaking lottery. Lottery? Isn't yeah. <sighs> Looks like an eight would have only netted me five bucks anyway. What a rib off. What's the problem, Detective Gumshoe? Uh-huh. Oh, it's you. I, I was... <laughs> I was just... <laughs> I was just listening to the radio, pal. I think Gumshoe was turning evil there for a moment. To the radio. Hey, Detective Gumshoe's having lunch here. He is, and he's having the twin tea set. <laughs> uh, what can I say? Um, I'm curious. Do you actually like the food here? This is a nightmare. Oh, I suppose to look Maggie in the eye now, pal. You really drove her into a corner, you know. You always blow apart my testimony. Why of all days didn't you do it today? <laughs> Sorry, there just weren't any holes in it, uh, for once. Yeah, what happened? Usually your testimonies are like Swiss cheese. Ah, uh, Swiss cheese. Would he have preferred crumbly like aged parmesan? <laughs> anyway, this case has already been ruled on. There shouldn't be any holes left to find. So, did Maggie say anything to you about me, I mean? Well, um, how did you put it again? I can't believe Detective Gumshoe! I hate him, sir! I mean it! I don't ever want to see him again! Why are you still in a uniform? Something like that. <laughs> Please, Detective Gumshoe, I didn't mean- Why? Why is this happening? He's banging his head against the wall, Nick. Oh. Oh, man. Poor Gumshoe. Man, poor Gumshoe. Uh, so, did you like the twin tea set? I never paid that much money for lunch before. I didn't know you usually, had that much money. Uh, usually it's just by cup noodles. I was so nervous, my hands were shaking. So, how did it taste? Well... 20 bucks, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. Really, it was delicate. But what? Delicate? You mean you liked it? It didn't taste bad to you? What's the matter with him? Looks like he's thinking. That's it! I've been trying to think of the right word to describe the, ta the taste. And I just realized 
It's bad. That's it. It tasted bad. <sighs> oh my god, Gumshoe. It's kind of hard to admit it to yourself when you pay 20 bucks for it, you know. Maybe he should have found out about the price after he had finished eating. Hey Nick, maybe that's why Glenn Elk came here. Maybe he heard about the Super Fierce 20 set. If by fierce you mean fearsome. Speaking of Glenn Elk, that reminds me. We still hardly know anything about the guy. Why don't we ask Detective Gumshi what he knows, seeing as he's here? So what were you all excited about earlier? Huh? That's right! You said you were listening to the radio or something. Oh, that, that was nothing. I, I wasn't excited. Come on, Detective Gumshoe. You can tell a little old me what are you listening to. No, nothing, really. It was just the uh, uh, daily exercise show. <laughs> oh, no. Gumshoe, really? For one lock? Oh. What the? <laughs> a psych lock? <laughs> this lunch special not so sure it's great. Why are there tears in your eyes? Alright. <laughs> Gumshoe, don't be an idiot. We yeah, probably don't, don't have enough information to actually unlock, but I am curious what we need. The radio. Alright, Detective Gumshoe, tell me the truth. What were you listening to? No way, pal. Now that you've been made a big thing out of it, I'm not gonna tell you. Are you a child? Uh, we'll see about that, pal. Considering all the noise you were making while you were listening, it's pretty clear what kind of radio program it was. I'd say it was related to... Lottery ticket. Do we have that? No, we do not have a lot of lottery tickets. Oh, we do! I'm right, aren't I? You were listening to the lottery results, weren't you? You thought you'd try to win big, just like Glenn Elg did. It, it's... It's like you can see right through me! Huh? I've cracked him already? Why did he hide that? See, pal, that's why I said it was nothing. Like, there's, nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with listening for the, to the lottery. Unlock success! Woohoo! Oh, what an easy one! I'm usually pretty lucky, so I figured I'd give it a try. You? Lucky? Yeah, that, that, that's news to me. Whatever. What's with everyone in the lottery? So, how did it go? I won 50 cents. Hell yeah! Uh, it's a victory, I guess. It better, it better to win nothing at all than half a lousy buck. I was so mad! Yeah, I know the feeling. About the same kind of ticket as Mr. L, see? And they've got this special radio show where they announce the winning numbers. They even do the drawings live at the air. It's, it's intense, pal. I and mean, that's what Mr. Elk was listening to on the day he was killed? Yeah. What time is it now? Uh, it's, uh, it's just after 1.30. And are the lottery results always broadcast at the same time? Yeah. Look, I got this flyer when I bought the ticket. Okay, look at the autopsy. Here's the most thrilling 10 minutes of your life every Monday at 1.30 p.m. And what is the autopsy again? Millionaire radio. That sounds cool. I want to try it, Nick. Oh no. Then buy a ticket, Maya, with your own money. When did it say he died in the autopsy? Between 1.30 and 2.30. Okay, so that, that that still fits. Okay. At least for from what we know so far. And, and we have to not much else. And we should present the um El Glenn to uh I know. You probably. This guy was a real programming genius. They call him the walking computer at the place where he works. Wow, okay. Uh, huh. what, what happens when he crashes, though? Does he just stop moving all of a sudden? <laughs> oh god, Maya. Uh, it wasn't literally a computer, Maya. Anyway, there's nothing between Maggie and the victim. Yeah, that's what we found out yesterday, too. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, don't you have any information that's a bit more fun? Fun? I, uh... Oh, I know! So, have you been a visit to where Mr. L worked yet? You might as well. His workplace? Where's that? A computer firm called Blue Screens Incorporated. Or something like that. Sounds like a real stable computer company. This could be fun, Nick. Let's go. Computers aren't really my thing, Maya. You'll be fine. I know all about that high-tech stuff. No, you don't. I wonder about that. It's just around the corner from this joint. You should take a look. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that close? Huh. A computer firm called Blue Screens Inc., huh? Before we do this, should we check the kitchen just to make sure? I was gonna check everywhere else, though, yes. Oh, January 7th, Trap Young Kitchen. Huh? Mr. Armstrong's talking to someone. I'll be back next month. I'm gonna take inspiration from Luna Lovegood's way of talking. We, <laughs> oui, Natur Lament, I'll be waiting for you. If you haven't got it by then, I'm afraid it might get a little hot around here. No! I love everything ready, I promise! I love fire, you know. I love the way it crackles. <laughs> no, 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 stop it, I beg you! Then don't let me down. I'll be watching you. 
My no! This is not necessary! You can trust me, mademoiselle! <laughs> Talk to anyone, and I'll drive a knife right through your heart. Uh... Oh no! You do not have to worry! You know, you very far too much. Maybe this will help you relax. This la oil or the sandalwood. I do love raw meat from time to time. <laughs> Oh, I'll be taking my leave. Goodbye. For now. What the hell kind of freak is that? Oh, I have the shivers. I must drop some of my oil over my body before I become so nervous wreck. I don't want to know that. <laughs> Sarah, oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. That feels good. <laughs> Oh la la, excuse moi, monsieur. My, my eyes, my eyes. <laughs> your eyes, if you have trouble with your eyes, you need this. La oil, the saddlewood. Isn't this just the leftovers of what you were just using? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, do I actually have her in the court record? No. No. Didn't think so. <sighs> you don't exactly have many customers, do you, Mr. Armstrong? No, you are right, monsieur. But perhaps I'll have a perfect time for you to visit me, no? So that way I can give you my undivided attention. I cook for you la dish supreme. Putting on a brave face, huh? That's what girls do, Nick. But you're right. Business is very difficult these days. Perhaps the name is the problem. People do not understand it. They think it is tray. I just want the people to think that my restaurant was exclusive. But they think you just serve fast food on cheap plastic trays. Nick, that's the kind of thing that can make a girl cry. Have you forgotten that Mr. Armstrong is a man, Maya? Phoenix? Tisk tisk. Disappointing you, buddy. <laughs> I mean, Fe Armstrong has technically... I know he said us girls must stick together, but has he ever mentioned himself as a guy? I don't actually know. Can't remember. I thought I, I'm not actually sure he has. But this restaurant is my life. It is everything to me. I will defend it to la finale. No one will take it from me. So, who's that woman you were just talking to? Ooh la la, you saw that? Ah, well, uh, yes. Sorry. So, who was she? She looked so polite and graceful. Really? I made her very creepy sounding, I hope, so. Um, polite, graceful. And she likes raw meat and fires, right? I'll be back next month. Oh, natural element, I'll be waiting for you. I think I'm gonna go through this whole thing again. Yep. <laughs> if you haven't got it by then, I'm afraid it might get a little around here. No, I will have everything ready, I promise. What's the point of this? I don't okay, know. Okay, it's, it's short, good. How do I think about it? Hey, Maya, I think it's pretty clear what kind of conversation they were having. You think so? Well, then let's show him that piece of evidence and see what happens. Ah, the de the debt. that piece of evidence, I see. The, the debt. I present to you, your loan. So long as that paper exists, I am but a delightful angel with la broken wings. An angel, huh? Doesn't bode well when you think about it. We oui, so kept harassing me month after month. In the end, I had to give in. I read to help them. Help them? But what? My being sure, if it did not owe them la money, I would have refused. But my hands were tied. Please, what did you agree to help them with? No, no, I cannot say. If I tell you, that woman, she will slice me up and eat me with this la salad garnish. Ew. Hope he doesn't mean that he'll literally be sliced up and served with garnish. I'm going to guess that woman has something to do with your loan contract. Am I right? Ah, please, Mr. Armstrong, tell us about that woman. The woman who was here earlier. I take it that she's, um... Why has it come to see What a tragedy. Suddenly I find myself so deep in la debt. This la sign of la bad, bad world we live in, oh? No, I'd say it's more of a sign of low bad, bad culinary skills. <laughs> you know, thinking about it, half a million dollars for this play. That's just, that seems so absurd. That does seem very absurd, yeah. Uh, you shouldn't need that much for what we've seen of the size of this place. Oh, yeah. The woman was here. The scary woman. She is from the loan office. Loan office? Is that where you borrowed half a million dollars from? We oui, tender lender, it is called. That's your name. Yes, TK makes me want to borrow some money. Please, you must not borrow from them. If you must, no more than ten dollars. Ten dollars? Sounds like your whole monthly stipend, Maya. Hey, I get a bit more than that. Thank you very much. 
So Tender Lender is the loan office you borrowed half a million from, huh? I wonder if they've got anything to do with this case. I am a weak woman. When I am upset, I have to buy something nice to cheer me up. Oh. Alright, so Armstrong is a woman. Yeah. A very, very buff woman. Oh yeah, very buff. With a nice beard. Fancy beard. Yeah. Very faint, very French. Thanks to him loaning me the money, I have to pay half a million dollars now. Actually, no, it's a loan shot, likely. So, he probably borrowed, let's say, a hundred grand. Part ah. of the contract is, you now owe me half a million. Oh, yeah, they're doing that kind of stuff. It's a That's scam. how Loan Sharks operates. It's not necessarily a sh scam, but it's not through official channel. So maybe a normal bank wouldn't give him money for it. Well, her yeah. money for it. So that would mean um, this Loan Shark is, I'm not going to really ask that much. Here's 100 grand. You better give me 500,000 by X date. Yeah, that makes sense. I am like a, a slave. I have to do everything that he tells me. Um, who is this he? The Lati girl. The tiger? We oui, he is the manager of the tender lender. A terrifying man, the big city mobster. Is that your phony? You think? No, no, that couldn't be because your phony's bike was pretty damn shoddy. Not that it was a bike, it was a scooter, but... When he says at me, my knees are trembling and his voice is ringing in my ears for three days. Although it could be. As soon as I hear the noise of Sabata's old scooter, he rides, I start to cry. It is. <laughs> what? A big city mobster who rides a battered old scooter. Um, does this guy resemble me by any chance? Oh, no, 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 no. This man has a presence. A most formidable personality. Although, we oui, he does have a spiky air, just like you. We oui, there is a resemblance there, I suppose. Hmm. Sounds like this loan office is worth checking out after all. If you want to visit the Tender Lender, it's just beyond Vitamin Square. Is everything around this restaurant? Apparently. They're very convenient, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, Nick, if you need money, I can loan you some, as long as it's less than $3. Um, thanks for the offer. Just beyond Vitamin Square, huh? Okay, I guess we have a location. Oh, well, Gumps is back. Well, I, well now I'm gonna head back to the precinct now. We've got a big meeting starting in a bit. About Mackie's case, you mean? No, that's pretty much wrapped up now. There's not a big case going down at the moment, so she's been pushed aside. Okay, well, see you later then. Bye. Oh, hi. You better get going, Detective, or you'll be late. Actually, I, um, uh, I've kind of got a favor to ask. It's a big one. A favor? Yeah, it's for, um, uh, Maggie, actually. I was kind of hoping you'd give this to her for me. What is it? It's a lunchbox. I got up early so I could make it. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Oh, who's the lunchbox lady? Oh, I remember her, but I forgot her name. But I remember her. I've been real worried about her. She looked like she'd lost all the weight. Okay. It's for gumshoe. How many weenies are in here? That's not a that's not a person on Earth who could eat down this much meat. Thank you. I love weenies. I can't get enough of their tender juiciness. So we'll give it to her. It took me ages to make, so please say you will, pal. I can't exactly say no, can I? So made with it's made with love, rice and weenies. Aww. How thoughtful. Maybe I'll eat it myself if I get hungry. Don't forget, okay? I'm counting on you to give it to that to Maggie. He's finally gone. Hey! Hmm. Very we now have four choices. Blue Screen Inc., the Detention Center, the Police Station, or Tender Lender. Which do we want to make I our way to? I think we should go to the stuff near the, um, near Trabien first. We should probably go to Blue Screens. Alright, well, I'm gonna check out Vitamins. No, I don't, because that means kudos there. Never mind. Blue Screens it is. What? what the hell? What? January 7, Blue Screens Incorporated. Huh. Wow, this place is so high tech. You can almost smell the electricity in the air. It is a computer for Amaya. They can't work without electricity, you know. Okay, I know okay. who this is. I'm just not sure on their voice until I see him. It's okay. a weird feeling. So, who are you? Yep, that's her. That, there you go. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, um, hello? I'm sorry. Access is restricted to authorized personnel only. What the fuck? I am a robot. I mean, an android. I mean, human. This is a computer programming laboratory. There are far too many trade secrets that could be leaked. 
Wow, what secrets? Everything you see here is classified. No information can leave this building. Understood. Who is this woman? She's like a robot from some kind of whacked edumacational show. Why does it spell it that way? Edumacational. <laughs> yeah, edumacational. My name is Lisa Basil. I'm the company's director. Huh. Oh, director? She's human? She seems more like a ghost in a shell. Oh, oh my god. Ghost in, a, ghost in a shell reference. And that thing over her eye, isn't that the same device as Glenn Elg's? I am my, too, a, I am a Saiyan as well. Might be a company thing. I mean, the other two in the, well, one of them in the back has it too. Looks like it at least. Yeah. That's a DMH, right? Nice try, but it's the other way around, Maya. It's an HMD. All of my programmers here at Blue Screens Inc. are supplied with HMDs. Okay, so it is a, it is a comedy policy. Okay. And do you write programs too? No, I just enjoy wearing this. <laughs> you just enjoy wearing it. They are pretty cool. I wouldn't mind one. Very fascinating. So what exactly is this firm's business? I will try to simplify it so that you can understand. Oh, thank we you. We analyze the data management systems required by certain branches of industry and then deliver optimum operating systems and source level components to them. Huh? You lost me on the corner of an analysis and management. It doesn't matter. They analyze stuff. You got that much, right? The software we've produced is distributed on CDs. DVDs have not been invented yet. They should be invented at this point, but who am I to judge? We have high-tech glasses, not DVDs. <laughs> and these CDs are super CDs. They can store 10 terabytes of space. Wait, 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 are you saying they're laser discs? <gasps> we don't like lasers around here. I'll kill you. <laughs> the CDs? Yes, compact discs, digital optical storage media. Of course. Do you remember you had to install games with, C with CDs? Those yes. Were the days. Of course, CDs are used for software as well as music. It is a small firm, but all of my employees are first-class programmers. Let's ask one of them what they are doing. Excuse me, what are you working on right now? Okay, I that would be really guy. awkward. Glasses with a glass on his eye. Yeah, it would be. I want to do this guy. If he talks. I research the impact of time slicing common down the logical axis to share global variables, obviously. Program influences response time and performance, so the co-independence variables and memory overheats to find the importance and success of... Wow. Well, <laughs> you get the idea. This is the sort of thing we are involved in. Did you good people follow all of that? Uh, yeah? Your blank smile just said otherwise, Maya. Sure. <laughs> you know about what happened, right, Miss Basil? You mean about Glenn being poisoned? Yes. I know, it's terrible. Can you tell us anything that might be helpful? I don't think so. A police officer was here earlier too, but I couldn't tell him anything either because the waitress who committed the crime has nothing to do with Blue Screens, Inc. Oh. How about Mr. Elg's desk? Have you cleared it out already? No, not yet. It's this one, right in front of you. If there is anything that might be useful to you, you are welcome to take it. I guess there might be a clue here somewhere. Okay, I guess we are allowed to, are we allowed to look around. Yeah, I want to present him first. Um, about Mr. Elg. He was a top programmer. I would even say he was a genius. But he did suffer from one or two bugs in his personality. Oh, like what? He was a bit of a loser. Perhaps that would be the best way to describe it. Rude. That's what got him into trouble. Rude. What's the matter? Basil.exe has stopped working. Would you like to reboot? What? He was a top programmer. I would even say he was a genius. So he was really no trouble at all. A model employee. Oh, wait. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Just now you said something about him being in trouble. We've got to find out what this trouble was exactly. Yeah, okay, that was sudden. How old is she? Uh... Oh, we don't know. Uh, absolutely, absolutely not a not robot. A robot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she is now officially a robot because, you know, Basil.exe. Um, about Mr. Elk, was he in some kind of trouble? I'm sorry. Why would you think that? I thought you said something about it just now. You said he got himself into trouble because he was a bit of a loser. Oh, uh. here we go. Ah, pretty locked up, actually. Three uh. Cyclops. I guess Mr. Elk is like every other man with his own pile of secrets. I'm not dealing with this right now. Yeah, we I'm probably have to find more stuff first. Let's have yeah. a look around. Whoa, look at this desk, Nick. What a mess. <sighs> Looks pretty average to me. But you can't get any work done with everything all over the place like this. Have you seen my desk? You I think? I've got plenty of stuff on it. 
Quickly, take a picture of your desk and send me it. Then I can no. show everyone. No, I don't want to see all my cans. Okay, now I actually want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously, I want to see all these cans. Picture. <laughs> Do it. You think? Real whiz kids can work under any condition, you know. Hmm. He's trying to hint that I should tidy my desk more. Hmm. I'll clean up my desk when Maya stops asking silly questions. No hurry then. <laughs> Smart. Hey, this calendar. What about it? Is this another hint about tidying? You can forget it. Someone's marked December 3rd in red pen. December 3rd? That's the day Mr. Elg was murdered. Is there anything else? Yeah, um, it says meet with the, the tiger. The, the t tiger? Oh, now that's big. That's probably one of the things. Oh, that's a lot of sticky notes. That's a lot of notes. Wow. Oh, those oh, are a lottery ticket. Wow. Oh, look at this mess. Looks like they are all betting tickets. What kind of betting tickets? We're betting on which horse will win a given race. The horse oh. racing tickets. Oh, that explains also why the calendar's like a horse. Okay. Oh, wow. He draws the stuff full of these. Looks like they're all losing tickets, though. Oh. Over 500? Oh, God. This many tickets would get you, what, a buck down at the recycling center? I didn't know you were so hard up that you tried to profit from the dead, Nick. Just taking them as evidence, Maya. Also, look what's under there. Is that a sleeping bag and everything? They're programmers, dude. They sleep here. Yeah, but I am having the suspicion he might have lost all his money and literally li slept at the office. That kind of stuff. He's a gambler, dude. She has no hey, money. Look. Hey, look, Nick. It's a simple computer. Is it? It's like it's really smart and wise, doesn't it? Isn't it just a server? Computers are only as smart as the humans who use them, Maya. I mean, technically speaking, a server could be a, is a computer. True. The, if you build it the right way, that's actually how com supercomputers are. It's, they don't have like things like we do, like a desktop. That's true. Obviously, they have they know. rows yeah. upon rows of servers, essentially all combined and especially built for a purpose of computing and stuff. Yeah, so I guess it is a supercomputer. I mean, I don't think it'd be a supercomputer with that view. Also, Wait. they wouldn't be in this room because they're loud. <laughs> that, that's Those kind true. of things they are would... rather loud, and this place that's would be really... like it would definitely. Well, not this thing up was... here would have to be AC, and this place would have to be like 60 degrees right now. It'd be cold. Oh, yeah. I've been in server rooms, and they weren't that full, and they were hot. And that, well, they were cold because you had to keep the AC going. Because those right. things get hot. They're constantly running at over 100 Ooh, Fahrenheit. Yeah, that, and that's a lot of uh, processing. Yeah. That explains why we don't use the computer in our office. You work there too, Maya. Yeah, but at least I'm... Please. Don't argue about something that's so trivial. Otherwise, the computer will laugh at you. She said she'd laugh at us, Nick. She's a human, Maya, not a computer. I don't believe that. <laughs> oh, look at these guys. He's really pounding that keyboard, isn't he? Wow, I bet that's where the pro and programmer comes from, huh? I guess I shouldn't be resting on my laurels. Gonna expand my skill set and all that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I could become old CD's apprentice. Um, and what about your spirit medium training? One of those. Those pillows almost look like they're moving. It's kind of unsettling. Nah, they just look a bit twisted or warped or whatever. What I'm looking for. This office was designed with a futuristic feel in mind. You don't say. Futuristic? Yes. We tried to imagine what things might look like in the future when we designed it. Uh-huh. It helps to soothe and calm the soul. Really? On second thought, I agree with you, Nick. This place is really unsettling. You bitch. Like, what would you find more comfortable in an office environment? Like, what do you mean, what would I find more comfortable? Because I don't think this kind of setup would be very comforting to me, just saying. I mean, if you're programming with a small group of people, other than the servers in the back, those could not be there. But other than that, assuming you're good friends with the three people you're working with, this wouldn't be a bad environment if you're all working on the same project. You That's can true, just chat with like, each other. Like you say, like, have a few plants around, that kind of stuff. Nerds do not need plants. I didn't say the plants could be real, they could be plastic. Plants do not exist in the future. Ah, that sucks. Anything else we can find in here? Ah, uh, no. I guess we have to check somewhere else. But we'll do that next episode. What plan am I in here? <laughs>